They're telling us that they have to keep us safe, but they're also saying, we don't trust you as an adult to be able to go out responsibly. You know, I'm 38 years old, I'm not allowed to go out after 1.30 at night. Yeah, and they don't know which parts work. They don't know whether it's the no shots, they don't know whether it's re-entry laws, they don't know if it's a lockout after 1.30, they don't know if it's the um, uh, ability to scan your license in certain places. They don't know which part will work. There's no trust in that you know you can transform the culture by just educating people and so live music is dying, DJs are dying, fun is dying, dancing, where do you go to dance? It's like Footloose, you know, there's all band dancing. You know we've already got a problem with blokes being able to express themselves and if we cut off one of those creative outlets then you know maybe you will see more live, I don't know, it might be a long bow but you need to give people outlets to express themselves. And they're saying, oh, well, look at the numbers, look at the figures, violence is down. Violence is down because everywhere is shut. Everyone is staying at home, no one is going out. And so you've had a 60% drop in violence, well, you've had probably the same drop in the amount of people going out. It's a terrible metric. You go to the casino, oh, wait, who makes money from the casino? What was it again? What's, who are they? Oh, the government, that's right. How can New York City, how can Berlin, how can a whole heap of capitals all over the world have people going out until late at night, enjoying themselves, you know? We're not children. Those king hits that happen were like horrifically tragic. They happened at nine, 10 in the evening. I don't know, we just, we've lost that. We've told, oh, this will keep you safe. Okay, yeah, well, yes, we'll do as we're told. At what cost, you know? 